Hi Scrubs, hope you're well. So we're back on Prefab. Remember, this is the test version, of course, where we test out new promos and features before they're added to live game. And we're going to be looking at the upcoming promo, Insect World. Now, there are some new features that are going to be possibly introduced to the game in the near future to do with competitions. And I was considering covering those as well in this video, and I've said not to because I'm still testing out some things on Prepod. It's taking a little bit longer than it would maybe on the live version. And I've also got a couple of questions about it that I have in the forums. So I'm kind of waiting on feedback for that. So I don't want to cover a video on that just yet. So we're going to be looking at Insect World. So destroy blocks and win prizes. Destroy enough blocks in the grid to complete the suggested missions. Get a chest as soon as you complete a mission. And open chests and discover the prize inside. So block types. Destroy them when there are at least two of the same color next to each other. Click on it to destroy it and destroy all the blocks in the same column. Get them to fall to the bottom of the grid to destroy them. And destroy adjacent blocks, uh, block groups twice to destroy them. Okay. So open the chest. To open the chest you can wait, use boosters, or use the master key. Uh, boosters. With the booster you can shorten the time to open a chest before hours to get boosters. You can connect. and uh, Once you connect to the game you get four per day. Uh, you can open chests to get them, and you can also buy them from the black market. So the jackpot. Um, get enough chests to fill the fragment meter and win the divine horse Punga. So this is Punga, which is one of the Moari horses. And Punga has a tiki, you must fill with mana, and you need to do that by observing three turtle nests per day and find out if there are any baby turtles. And of all, as always, it's one gives you five mana, two gives you twenty, and three gives you eighty. So when the tiki contains 1,200 mana, Punga will give you a gift, which is the Weta. This horse cannot be sold, and you can increase his skills with passes. So this is Weta. So this animal will keep your horse company. It wakes up uh, during your horse's first action of the day, and it falls asleep in the, la the latter ages. Uh, when awake, this companion rewards a bonus to your horse of plus three dressage, and this companion cannot be traded. So this is basically a Weta companion. That's essentially what this divine does. So let's go to the next one. So golden horseshoes. To get golden horseshoes by getting five divine fragments, 50, 140, and 325. And get at least two gold horseshoes to take part in the prize draw, which will take place at the end of the event to try and win the divine. So let's play. Okay, so hey, ready to unlock chests to win the divine? Horse Punga, let me show you how. So let's click play. Okay, so you have to complete the mission to get the chest. You need to destroy the requested blocks to do so. Okay, so if we click on this one. Right, great. As they fall, the blocks uh, formed a new cluster for you to destroy. Okay. Congratulations, you destroyed all the requested blocks. Rewards, you get one golden chest and two divine fragments. Okay. So with every chest you find, you'll get closer to the divine horse punga. Take four of these boosters, and they will let you open this chest instantly. Okay, so we've now got four boosters. And we're going to use those to speed this up and open that chest. And there we go. All you need to do is open it to find out what's inside. Okay. So let's see what we're going to get. So, more boosters. That's kind of boring. <laughs> right, happy with what you have. If not, don't worry, every item you earn is removed from the chest until you get the one you want. Okay. Well, that, I think that's new because before, if you got an item, you could get it again and again and again. So, maybe that's a good thing because then uh, maybe I won't get that same thing again. But then, in some cases, that could be a downside to that too. Up for more, go back to the grid to discover a new mission. Okay, so we got two of these towards the 325. Okay, so this time you need to destroy the red blocks here. I'll show you a little trick to speed things up. Click on it to destroy all the blocks in the grid. So this is a, this is very much similar to the mine one that we had before. So explosion. The explosion destroyed all the blocks in the mine. And this is free to use. Okay, great. Now I just have to... Oh, okay. Congratulations, you destroyed all the requested blocks, and we've got a wooden chest and one divine fragment. Three. Great, now you just have to blow up the rocket. It also destroys all the blocks in the same column. Okay, so this is what this does. So if I click this, it just is going to break all of the ones in this column. Okay, so here goes. Congratulations, okay, I got a horseshoe, and I also got these. Okay. Well done, you find all the chests. Don't feel like waiting, I'll show you the master key. Okay, so this unlocks all the chests. I bet you I can't wait to see what's inside your chest. I will let you open them. Good luck. Okay, so let's open the wooden one first. Alright. Well, I just saw that two star booster again, but maybe I don't get it in the golden chest anymore, possibly. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see if we see a two star booster in here. Okay, I don't think I saw a two-star booster in that one. 
Because maybe if it's, it's that particular chest type, you won't get it out of again. Okay, so we've got another wooden chest. So this one, this is a little bit different um, to previously, because it used to be, as far as I remember, the last time we had a promo like this, we had three chests. Whereas this one seems to have to be unlocked. And I don't know if it's only available to be unlocked with those passes or not. Let's speed that up, open that. So what have we got? Uh, okay, some leg wraps. From what it said about them only having one item, and then once you get that item in the chest, you'll get it again. I'm guessing that it's that type of chest. But this is, as I said, this is just an assumption on my part right now, if that's the case or not. So this time, pollen has appeared. You have to get it to fall right to the bottom of the grid. Okay. Go ahead, destroy the blocks under the pollen to get it to fall down. Right? Okay. Great. Continue to make the pollen fall. Okay, congratulations, you story. Okay, so we got we got a golden chest, but I want to get another of the wooden chest right now. So we need to do this one. Okay, so that should be yeah. So here's the chest now. Well done, you find all the chests. There are not more to pick up right now at this point. You can either wait for them to open, use boosters, or open them at once with the master key. So if you want to get more boosters, they seem to be sixteen passes, and boosters allow you to speed up the opening of the chest by four hours in the insect world. Now, we're going to unlock this one. So unlock a new chest slot to be able to play even more, win even more prizes. A crystal chest is just on this slot. So this one, maybe you have to get it with passes. Here's some amber now. Amber breaks and destroys the blocks that are touching it. Okay. Try destroying these blocks. Okay. Great. The amber has already begun to break. Begin again. Okay, so you're breaking the blocks around the amber. And there we go, the amber is completely destroyed. Now it's up to you to try the other piece of amber. So you have to break the blocks around it to destroy the amber. Okay, we'll have to click that. Um, and there, okay, no, we haven't had any luck just yet. Okay, there, that'll start to break it. It's starting to crack. And there we go. And you destroyed all the required blocks and rewards the crystal chest. It seems to be that if you match at least eight of the same color together, then you can get the rocket. So if it's above eight, if it's below seven, you don't seem to get the rockets. So if I break eight blocks, I'll get a rocket. If I break seven at the same time or less, then I don't get a rocket. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. If I break those, I don't get a rocket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This will give me a rocket. The only time you seem to be able to use the master key is when all, all of your slots are full. If you only have one chest, you can't seem to use the master key to open them. Okay, so I have collected nearly every single item out of the wooden chest, except the agent put in the vigilant apple. I have every other item, as you can see here. So I have three wooden chests left, even though I only have two items left to get. So I want to open these and see what happens. So we're going to open the first one. And... It's only going to give us an agent point by the looks of it. Okay, get that. Now if we open this. Okay, so there's the vintage apple. That's the last item. Now, what's going to happen when we've already got everything down here? This is what I'm curious. So now we have every single thing out of the wooden chests. Okay, every single item out of the wooden chests. So if we open this, it resets it. Okay, so that means you can get stuff again but you'll only get them once until you do it again. So if I just go back here, does it start to count that up? So we got a saddle from that. Okay, so that says times two. So basically the first time that you open all of the chests, um, whatever chest type it is, so if it's the wooden chest, you'll get one of these items until they're gone. And then whenever you've got all of that item out of that chest, then it resets the chest and you can get it a second time. So that's the way it works. So I'm assuming it works the same way for the golden and the crystal chests. So the things that I have figured out from this, the divine fragments that you get seem to be seem to go between one and two. You don't seem to get a lot of divine fragments from doing this. It seems quite slow in that regard. Um, because I haven't actually made a huge amount of progress towards the divine, even though I've got every single wooden chest at least once. And the, I'm going to see if this goes up in price, so let's see. Okay, so if you explode all of that, 
Let's see how much this... Does this stay the same no matter how many times I buy it? That's what I'm curious about. It seems to. Like, obviously some of this could change when it goes to the live version, but that seems to be the same. So, this seems to be kind of easy to progress with, but obviously the chests are what slow you down, so once you have three full slots in the chests, you have to either wait until you can open them or use boosters or open them with a master key. Um, because you can endlessly click these, you know, so long as you don't have three chests sitting here. So that seems to be this promo. And uh, obviously the only way to get the rockets is if they're hussed, you have to click at least eight at the same time and explode them to get a rocket. If it's less than eight, you don't seem to get it from what I've been, because uh, I've been counting the blocks as I do that. Anyway, Scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have a good day. Bye!